In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Natras Levels and Curves. These effects will enhance your color correction with the addition of easy-to-use curves. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but these effects also work in Motion and After Effects as well. I have two clips on my timeline. The first was shot with a DSLR, and it's standard practice to shoot with a low contrast setting on the DSLRs so as not to lose picture information, and then add contrast and saturation back in post. If I look at my first clip in the waveform monitor, you can see that it's pretty flat and could use some more contrast. I'll drop the curves plugin on it. What appears is a diagonal line that will help us see the curve as we make adjustments. Each point on the line is represented by the black, toe, mid, knee, and white sliders. Each point on screen has a percentage value that will change as we move them around. Together, these give you visual and numerical feedback on what you're changing. The easiest adjustment to start with is a simple S-curve. I'll click the on-screen presets dropdown and choose the S-curve preset for a good starting point. I'll make some tweaks to the preset to taste while keeping an eye on my waveform monitor during any of these adjustments so I don't overdo it. I want to crush my lows without losing detail in the buildings and brighten the highs without blowing out the sky too much. I'll toggle this effect on and off to make sure my eye and the waveform monitor like it. Lastly, I'll click the Show Curves on-screen button to get rid of the visual curve on the footage. The Curves Luma effect looks exactly the same in the parameters, but only affects the Luma information in the clip, and not the color information. If you find your colors getting too saturated, and you're really only wanting to adjust contrast, something that might happen with skin tones in a shot, go with the Curves Luma plugin. My second clip is some red epic footage. Unlike our first clip, which was shot with a low contrast video gamma, the Red Epic captures RAW. This clip was exported in Red Log Film so as to retain the dynamic range of the original format. Red Log Film adheres to the Cineon Film Log spec, so it's easily gradable and looks great in practically any grading application. Since it's a log clip, it appears very low contrast. The first thing I'll do is change the presets so this clip will appear correctly for display on a video monitor. For log mode, I'll choose log to video then curves, and the log to video curve will stay set to log cineon to video. I'll create my S curve to improve the contrast of this shot. Regardless of what format your footage was shot in, Natris Levels and Curves operates in the film log color space, which allows you precise control over where the tonal range of the curves affect the image and a wide dynamic range for processing. It's part of the behind-the-scenes magic on why the curves look as good as they do. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com.